comic pros from Marvel and DC are just butt mad that there's an alternative out there. And we're making better money per page a lot of the time than they are just by doing some fun work for ourselves where we actually own our own creations, aren't just making fan fiction uh, for some old dead properties. Uh, these guys really are wasting their lives, and they know it at the end of the day, in a failed industry. And so they keep lashing out over and over and over again. And nobody's been lashing out more lately than Marvel artist Mark Brooks, who has just gone off the rails insane with hatred, bigotry, and just a terrible attitude towards the people of Comicsgate. Hi, my name's John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author and an award-winning comic creator. This is the last day for my high school girl in the Crusades. We're almost to $13,000 on this campaign. I would love to hit this today. If you guys can help, please pitch in back today. You'll get a great book for it. We actually got a two-book package where we've got my Deus Volt, which was the most popular fantasy comic of last year. You guys will absolutely love it if you love classic comics, along with our parody manga, which is available right now. This is the best deal you can get. I appreciate everybody who's supported so far. That link is in the description below. Thanks, guys. All right, here's the deal. Mark Brooks yesterday just went on a weird tirade where he just decided to just attack artist Dale Keown, who is known for The Pit, which is a very popular image comic in the 90s. Dale Keown is one of the most renowned comic artists in the industry, uh, one of the best comic artists in the industry. And he just attacked it because it was a representation of Ethan Van Skyver's Cyber Frog. And Mark Brooks just has some uh, sort of weird fetish for uh, getting uh, mad at Ethan, I guess, on the internet. It's been a weird thing since this guy's been doing this. He's been attacking Comicsgate regularly as of late. And uh, he thinks this is a good look for him. So uh, Demonic Ash here posts uh, this uh, deal. And what's wrong with this drawing or how the quality has gotten worse? Uh, you know, he's talking about how great Comicsgate is because... Mark Brooks was talking about comic skate quality not being good. Here's Dale Keown's beautiful work. You have a beautiful rendition of Cyberfrog here, and this is not colored yet, so it is just black and white. So you got uh, some awesome enemies. You see how he draws this like swirl that leads you right to Cyberfrog. It actually has a very nice sort of like uh, like just great thing where it focuses all your energy right on Cyberfrog right here. You had a beautiful Heather Swain. Look at this. is this is a, I did a video on how to draw women yesterday. Dale Keown did a great job here just with like the curvature of this girl, uh, making her look very feminine. Uh, she's she's got a little bit of a you know badass face going on, but she's she's a pretty girl, and uh, absolutely stunning drawing by Dale Keown. There's there's a, there's nothing you could possibly say that's wrong with it. Salamandroid in the background. Uh, you can see very clearly some very detailed art. There's a lot going on, and there's a lot of enemies surrounding them. And once this gets into color, it's going to really pop because you're going to have like all these, these these sort of yellow vispas. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, sort of bad guys right here. You'll have a green cyber frog. You'll have a salamandroid in his coloration, and Heather Swain in her like of course flesh color. Uh, so it will it will really very much pop, and the center of focus will definitely be right here once you have the accurate good colorist. So. Uh, our homie, uh, Mark Brooks here, uh, goes and, uh, and you can tell where the focus is immediately like an idiot. There's no focus. <laughs> okay. It's over rendered within an inch of its life. And I can't tell what the hell is going on. It's Dale though. So somehow it's still good. Yeah. Somehow it is still good because Dale Keown is one of the best artists in the industry, hands down. And, uh, you know, I mean, there, there are different styles where there's lots of detailed rendering. There's lots of, I like, I'm a big fan of the Alex Toth sort of under rendered look, uh, personally, but there are different styles and this is the best of the best of this kind of style of art. It's definitely not somebody just copy pasting, uh, you know, 3d models and then changing a couple of the, the features real quick, which is what Mark Brooks does with a lot of his work and what a lot of Marvel artists do with a lot of their work these days, because they just are trying to get this. Uh, very detailed rendered look without actually having to put in work. Dale, Dale Keown, by contrast, draws all this from scratch, and it shows. I mean, he's a real artist versus a draftsman like Mark Brooks. But Mark Brooks, uh, for as much as he likes to go off on his focus, that might have been his downfall in this whole argument. When he posted this, people came back with Mark Brooks's art, which even when the colors happen, uh, this is definitely a piece with zero focus whatsoever. You can't tell what's going on at all. All these are just 3D models that are just pasted into here. 
and uh, the colors don't have any like sort of like you know cohesive palette whatsoever. You can't tell what's going on. Emma Frost kind of looks like her head is detached from her body in some weird way. It's uh, it's very odd, and you don't know what to focus on at all. I mean, I, I can't even tell who's supposed to be the front of this piece. Uh, I guess maybe Emma, just because the white in the middle draws your eye from the coloration. But you can tell that like in lines, this would actually not uh, show well at all. Now, uh, the colors are done by Mark Brooks, too. So he actually screwed up his own piece by making this a jumbled mess with like no cohesive sort of theme to it. But there's definitely no focus here. And the internet is laughing at him over this. People are mocking him relentlessly. Eric July is doing a stream right now titled There's No Focus. Uh, and so Mark Brooks, you know, you failed at attacking uh, the people who are making the actual alternatives. People are creating their own works. People are creating creator owned works. Uh, While well, you tried to simp for your little corporation here and your crappy corporate work that you do here, which is terrible, uh, Dale Keown has destroyed you on every level. And I think that shows right here in a much better drawing than anything Mark Brooks could ever do. I'm just laughing at this today. I love it when these guys take their L's because these guys have been the worst. They've blacklisted people from the industry over politics. And they don't care about talent anymore. They don't care about good stories anymore. They just care about destroying the beautiful cultural icons that came before them. It's really sad to watch how mad Mark Brooks gets over this. But you know what? Uh, there's something a little joyous in it as well. All right. What do you think about this? Leave a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.